Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our Europe adventure. This is our day six vlog. We're still in Switzerland. In this day six, we're gonna have a full tour of the Calle Chocolate Factory. Let's go. Right behind me is the Matterhorn. It's huge. It's so I am at the Eiffel Tower. This is the real deal in France, Paris. Tickets to the chocolate factory. We hope. I'm optimistic. Watch me eat this hot dog. Usually in America, in America we eat it with bread, but in this country we eat it with croissant. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so yummy. Okay, we've arrived in Brock, so we're gonna go to Kaye Chocolate Factory. about three hours to get to um, from Zurich to uh, Bach. That's where the chocolate factory is. We're beginning to take a walk. We decided to walk around the village. We tried to wait for the bus, but we've been waiting for a while. But this also gives us an opportunity to see what the village of Brock is like. We met this lady who spoke fluent French and we were getting kind of lost. And I just want to acknowledge she was nice enough to show us how to find the factory itself. So we had to take a little bit of a hike to go down this hill to find the Kaye factory. And if you look at the countryside, it's very agricultural, very rural, uh, it's beautiful. And this is also where they get a lot of the um, dairy for the chocolate factory as well. It actually comes from this little village where they have a lot of cows. But it takes you back in time, so it was pretty cool just to see this little scenic hike on the way to the factory. After a scenic height, we finally arrived at Calle Chocolate Factory. We are here. Oh, 
excited, right? They're super excited. Two adults, a teenager, and two kids. Good thing we got tickets! We are in. 1.30, we're gonna go in. So we finally got our tickets. Now we're gonna kinda of explore the area a little bit. We know they have a little park, so the kids probably wanna play there. So it's a pretty good sized park. There's a lot of stuff for the people to do. There's also this abandoned dog, so I hope someone comes by and picks them up. And then we're gonna explore the cafe and maybe have a little bit of something to eat, a little bit of lunch. So this is like the uh, entry uh, gift shop where you want to get chocolates, they got a little cafe over there, looks like coffee and snacks. So we're just kind of looking around, we don't, not booked until 1.30. That hot cocoa. Hot cocoa and whipped cream. Yeah, yeah. cherry cream. <laughs> mm. Here we go. So this is dark hot chocolate. Let's try this. the cafe, uh, Calle um, Chocolate Factory. We got a salami sandwich, mm -hmm. got some salami, and we got some little spread there, a little bit of cheese, and some lettuce. It's pretty good. And they also have like an herb type bread. I got a latte macchiato, which has some coffee in there, because I need my coffee in the morning. And everyone else got hot chocolate, <laughs> including a crepe. We also got a crepe there too, so it's pretty nice too. And I got, I got the dark hot chocolate. Oh, my wife got the dark it's hot really chocolate. strong. You, you should try, try okay, it. Let me try a little bit. Oh man! <laughs> oh yes! <laughs> I've never had hot chocolate like this. I never I had hot chocolate this good. It was probably in Paris uh, during the winter time. It was yeah. pretty good. This is good. Yeah, <laughs> it's bomb, huh? It's the bomb. <laughs> Time to go inside. Here we go, the tour begins. They give you a lanyard too. And in this lanyard, they give you some audio so you can hear what's going on and it aids to the experience of the chocolate tour. So you need to press the button. Oh, okay. Just automatic, we just put on the ear? Yes. Oh, okay. All right.
and the lanyard gives you some audio, which also in, in many different languages. Ours, of course, is English, German, French, and we even saw some in Chinese. Yes, it's right. So our guy told us when we go inside here not to lean against the wall. I'm wondering, is it like Willy Wonka where everything's made of chocolate? Hmm. So this rumor going into is talking about the origin of chocolate. It began with cocoa that was harvested all the way back to the Aztec Empire. But it doesn't taste like chocolate we have today because they didn't add sugar to it and it had a very bitter taste. The Aztec Empire a long time ago in Mexico believed cocoa was given to them by the gods. Like the Mayans, they enjoyed the caffeinated kick of either hot or cold beverage, which was cocoa. But they also used cocoa beans as currency to buy food and other goods as part of their economy. So chocolate arrived in Europe during the 1500s, most likely brought by Spanish friars and conquistadors who had traveled to the Americas. It was brought to Europe and it was a very bitter drink. Later they add sugar cane and cinnamon for flavor. It reigned as a symbol of luxury and wealth and power to the monarchies. Later aristocrats and middle class started getting this and it became known as the magic elixir that they believed had health benefits. And this is mostly because chocolate makes you feel good. Now they're experiencing what the 3,000 mile trip was from the Americas to Europe and we're actually in a boat. Well, not really in a boat, but a simulated version of a boat. So chocolate remained as a symbol of luxury and power to the Spanish. It was only served to the royalty and was affordable to Spain's elite class and citizens, but remained a symbol of high society. Chocolate was also seen as an aphrodisiac because of the way it makes you feel good. And many of the monarchy would use this during their, as a symbol of their sexual prowess. Now we're in Switzerland in the 1800s with the man who began it all, Francois Cayet. He invented and mechanized the production of pressed chocolate. He 
opened up the first factory in Switzerland where he mass-produced chocolate as a confection, and chocolate became more affordable and sold as a packaged product. Caillet, in 1879, started joining forces with two other famous chocolatiers, Henry Nestle and Rudolf Lindt, who you might have heard of. They began to unify their forces, and Swiss chocolate became very commonplace at a silky melt-in-your-mouth confection that we know of today. So this is his office. This is a miniature map of the Kaye factory and what it would look like in Switzerland at the time in Brock. You can touch, you can touch. Hazelnut. No, no. Almond. Cacao. 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 What I think is the headline of the tour is they give you samples of chocolate near the very end of the tour. But remember, you can only take one.
This is a room where you can make your own chocolate bar. Really fun for the kids. However, make sure you make a reservation. Unfortunately, we didn't make one in time, so we had to skip this part of the tour. This is a movie theater that shows a history, a recap of your visit at the Calle Chocolate Factory. So this is the end of our full tour of our Calle Chocolate Factory. We're now going to catch a bus and take a look at Brock Village in this part of Switzerland. We've had enough of exploring Brock by bus. Now it's time to go back to Zurich. On the next video, we will explore more about Zurich before we depart to Paris, France. Stay tuned, still in day six video. Thank you for watching.